Hey, good morning, y'all. What's up? This your boy Garrett Spencer. How's everybody doing? Today's Saturday. Y'all know what today is. So, um, uh, I'm going to first start off with my shout outs and get into what I'm going to talk about. Um, yeah. Once again, once again, give a special shout out and a thanks to our, our boy, uh, Dr. Josh Jarrell Gamer. You know, special shout out to him, you know. Um, and, you know, I'm done, you've done so much for us and everything helped us out with a lot of stuff. And like I said, you're still in our hearts, bro. So, RIP to you, man. And then uh, we also got some uh, new names um, who just joined. So, um, we're going to give a shout out and a welcome to uh, Paul Hibbert. Paul Hibbert, uh, check him out. Um, he just joined. I just I checked him out and supported him yesterday. Um, and I I liked what I saw saw on his channel. Um, and everything. And he's he's do, he does um really good. He's doing pretty good on his channel. Um, another person is Jeff Jeff Rose Game Room. Jeff Rose Game Room just uh, checked him out, supported him, and um and I appreciate the support back. You know, I appreciate the support back from you, bro. Um, yeah like that game room and I like some of your videos on there and now you look, seem like also a cool person so Jeff Rose game room y'all another person another person new person is a uh, retro will retro will you know I liked what I seen yesterday um pretty impressive um you know a good amount of games and um just supported you yesterday bro so uh, retro will um so um uh, that's not that's something else Another another person um is Emerald Game Cave Emerald Game Cave um uh, check him out you know cool person he has a good channel and uh, good videos and um appreciate the support bro and that's why I supported you you know I liked what I saw very impressive and another person is uh Justin Bryant Justin Bryant um check him out um you know he joined too um he's um you know um. You know, welcome to my um channel, y'all. Welcome to my channel, y'all. And like I said, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, next person we're gonna give a shout out to is uh Calvin Calvin uh Jr. Calvin Jr. Check him out. Uh, cool person, cool person. Um, you know, funny, entertaining, likes to dance and make people laugh. And um, can't wait for you to move into your your new place, Calvin. And that uh, way you get all your games hooked up and uh, you even add more games. So um, Calvin Jr. Y'all check him out. Another person is One Up Woman. One Up Woman, check her out. Um, nice person. Um, good channel. Likes to you know do live streams with herself and her family. You know does some pretty good games. So um, One Up Woman. Uh, another person is Brian Trusty. Brian Trusty, check him out. Uh, cool per coolest one of the coolest uh people I know. Um, you know and met. Um, very professional on his uh on his channel, his game streams, and um. And uh, he's uh, entertaining himself. And uh, thanks again for the gifts, Brian. Like I said, I'm enjoying that blue controller. Um, so Brian, trusty y'all. Another per another person we're gonna give a shout out to is uh, Chauncey Talon. Chauncey Talon, check him out. A uh, cool person, uh, good people, another awesome gamer. So Chauncey Talon. Another person is uh, Zach Percent. Uh, Zach Percent, uh, check him out. Um, you know he's cool. He's a uh, Cool dude himself has a good channel, does reviews and uh, game streams once in a while. So Zach Percent, y'all man. And uh, no, another person we're gonna give a shout out to is Filippo. Filippo, check him out. Uh, he's a, you know, another cool person, another good gamer. Does live streams, live streams, and he always comes through and show the appreciation. So Filippo. Another person is Rockstar Nick Two Thousand. Rockstar Nick 2000, check him out. Um, you know, cool person, he good people. Comes through once in a while to show the appreciation and watch the video, so I appreciate that, y'all. Um, and uh, another another person, uh, another person we going another person we gonna give a uh, shout out to is uh T Belly, T Belly. Um, check him out. You know, another um another cool retro gamer. Uh, good person, good person does live streams and uh, videos every now and then, so. T Belly, y'all, one of the one of the uh, coolest people. Another person is J Love eighty one. J Love eighty one, check her out. Um, he has a really good channel. Has some good videos. Does live streams and and stuff. Um, once in a while and so so. Uh, J Love eighty one. Another person is Alpha Nerd Entertainment. Alpha Nerd Entertainment, check him out. A uh, cool person. You know, very you know, very good and professional on his channel. Got some really good um. 
get retro game videos and whatnot, and um, does live streams as well. So, Alpha Nerd Entertainment. Another person to give a shout out to is a uh, Retro Gaming Star. Retro Gaming Star, check him out. A uh, cool person, very positive. Does some very good stuff on his uh, channel, and um, you know he's a very cool person, and uh, he's good at what he does as well. So, Retro Gaming Star. And um, you know another part, another person we're gonna give a shout out to is KB211. KB211, check her out. Awesome gamer, good channel, and um, uh, does uh, and um, good people. So KB211, hope everything's going alright with you. It's been a while. And um, another person we're gonna give a shout out to is Ingeniuses. Ingeniuses, check him out. Uh, he's you know a cool person, good people. Another gamer, he comes through once in a while, show the appreciation, so, um, and geniuses. Another person is, uh, Christopher Jones. Christopher Jones, check him out, um, another good, another good, another good people, um, another uh, good supporter, um, loves playing video games, likes watching the videos as well, appreciate that, so Chris Jones. Another person is, uh, Joe Aquin, uh, per Parodies, if I got it right, Joe Aquin Parodies, uh, check him out, um, you know he's a he's a cool person. Um, he's into video games. Uh, he comes through um, every now and then. Show the appreciation. So Joe Quinn parodies, appreciate you, bro. And um, another person, give a shout out to his lightsaber samurai. Lightsaber samurai, check him out. Uh, he's a cool per cool person. Um, has a good channel. Get, does some good good review videos and does live streams once in a while. So. Um, check out, so, um, Lightsaber Samurai, and, uh, as far, and as far as everybody else go, want to say, uh, thank you and welcome, and I hope you guys continue to watch the videos as I post them, um, so thanks again, really appreciate it, pre pre appreciate you guys, so, yep, today's Saturday, today's Saturday, sixth day of the week, you know, got my workout in earlier this morning, um, went to the store, came back, and just, uh, chilling, and just chilling, um, chilling for right now um yeah so i'm gonna probably gonna get into you know first thing that uh that always came first thing that always came to my mind um back when i was a kid and the only thing i really wanted to do the most um when i when i didn't want to watch tv or you know whatever not or didn't want to do anything else and you guys already most likely know the only thing that really came to came to my mind to the most is um is uh playing is uh playing video games and it all started back. It all started back in the nineties when I was a kid. You know, had you know had the uh, same Sega Genesis console that I got right now, the Model One. brings back brings back mad memories, which is why which is why I bought it. And which I, which is why I bought it again last year. You know, had a lot of had a lot of ga games on it last. Had a lot of games on it and whatnot. You know, most of the games I have now, you know, is what I had. Some I even rented. You know. But I remember like how I used to be how I used to be glued to that um glued to that like every day every day, you know always starting off with Sonic One because that is like my uh that is my main that was that was my main game back then and it is now you know face it up face it Sega Genesis you know I was pretty glued and then um because that and that's why that's the number one system in my opinion and um but that wasn't the only you know system I was glued to I was also glued to um glued to, um nintendo you know the nintendo super nintendo whatnot you know and anybody's house we went over that had that that system when later on a playstation one n64 whatnot or any other any other other of the uh game systems that came out in the 90s and early 2000s and whatnot um i was always oh you know i was always you know over there over there and you know i've seen somebody playing I would want to jump in and play with them and whatnot, um, cause video games was like you know like you know the only thing that really came to mind and that that always you know always came to mind and something I always wanted to do and always loved to do and um, just like you know when I when I was all, I would always be waiting for school to get out so I would just like you know hurry up and wait for school to get out so that way as soon as I go home I would always I would just always want to get on it and play it you know. And play them because you know either if it's before or after you know i did my homework and whatnot got it done and out the way 
then I would just go back. I would just want to go on to the, you know, game and play, you know, and play it again. Um, and I know, and the frustration that I had, you know, like when, when back when we had the, uh, like when we had the PS PlayStation One, PlayStation Two, whatnot. Um, see, I wasn't the, I, I wasn't really the only, I wasn't the only, um, only child. I wasn't the only child though. You know, I had two brothers, whatnot. I had two brothers, you know, also that, you know, that lived with us as well. Of course, um, my little brother, yeah. Um, it wasn't really my little brother what was the issue, but like. Every time I go home and come, you know, after school and whatnot, you know, my older my older brother was always on the PlayStation 2 and whatnot, you know, and that wasn't really it, even though he wasn't supposed to, he wasn't even allowed or wasn't supposed to be, you know, playing or watching TV because he was always on punishment. He did a lot of, uh, he was always, it seemed like he was always getting into trouble doing stupid stuff and, you know, he was on punishment because of that, but but uh, the issue that I was having, though, like, you know, when he was on the plane, though, is um that he, every time every time he would take a game out of the uh, P PS2, he instead of putting it back in the case like you're supposed to so the CD won't get messed up or whatnot or get scratched, he would always put it on top of the PlayStation. He would always put the disc on top of the PlayStation 2 when there's a disc, like when there's a case like right there for it and. You know, I would always have to, you know, you know, take it off and put it back in the case. And I'd be like, why do you always put it on top of the, um, on top of the console? Because that's how these discs are getting scratched up and messed up. You know, I don't understand why it was. I just think that was kind of laziness. And I think that was ignorant and lazy, you know, and that's why, you know, and that's why I was always waiting because waiting until I became, waiting until I grew up and became an adult and out of my, uh, out of my parents' house because I'm thinking when I get my, you know, when that happens and I get a job and make some money and um, buy my own systems, I'm going to have some rule. I'm going to have some rules for that, you know, that if you done put the game back in the case where, where, where it belongs and put, you know, put everything back where it goes or, you know, put everything back, you know, where it belongs, you know, it's that simple. It's not rocket scientist, you know, but that was the frustration I had you know, back when, you know, with him that, you know, even when it came to video games and whatnot, so that's the only thing I didn't, you know, you know, I really uh, didn't like, so, um, but, um, yeah, but video games, like, yeah, that was the first thing that always came to mind, some I always loved and always wanted to do, you know, and, um, if it wasn't for that, if it wasn't for that, um, for me doing that back in the day, uh, who knows, I probably wouldn't even, I probably would be so far behind, you know, that, I would have missed out on some of the other classic um, games that came out and um, wouldn't have been able to play them, wouldn't have been able to see them and, you know, wouldn't have, you know, had my chance though. So, but, you know, now the time is now, you know, we're like into the present, you know, I'm an adult, you know, I'm working, making money, paying my bills. And then, you know, every now and then I treat myself to always, you know, ordering something, on, ordering a game or even a movie on Amazon and, you know, you know, it's like being my own boss, you know, and just like, you know, owning my own property. So, so the time, the time is now, the time is now y'all. So, so, you know, yeah, I'm proud to be a gamer, but, uh, anyway, that's all I, you know, really have to, uh, talk about. Um, you know, th this is your boy, Garrett Spencer. You guys take it easy. And I hope, I hope you guys like what y'all saw. If so, y'all know what to do. Um, and um, I also hope to see you guys later on today, if not next week. Peace and I'm out. And remember, y'all, once a gamer, always a gamer. Keep on gaming, y'all.